every day my future becomes more and more bleak. My sister ran off to Cyrodiil so long ago, I can barely remember her. And my brother... He's dead set on being a bandit. A bandit! My own brother! Stefan says it's better to die fighting and getting ahead in life, instead of dying in a puddle of mud in a refugee camp. If the bandits were cleared out of the Orc's Finger ruins, my brother would have no choice. Here, let me show you where it is on your map. Even if you don't go there yourself, you should be aware of the dangers of this part of Rivenspire. I just wish my brother understood that danger is not better than squalor. Greetings. Not with the bitter hand. I am as a tree buried beneath the ground, stuck in darkness and doomed to die. I am not even a bandit anymore. Yes, I admit I was with them, and I admit that I did bad things. 
I have robbed, and I have beaten, but I have never just cut down an innocent person. When the Bitter Hand began this practice of murdering people, that is when I decided to leave. Well, as you can see, they did not like that. They say I know too much, that I cannot just float away down the river. They will soon kill me, unless a kind soul like yourself would release me. Then I can go and put down new roots in Shornelm. Yours is truly a generous spirit to release me from this dark place. But I would be most ungrateful if I did not tell you the entire truth. If I am truly to leave here, to put down new roots and find new life, more is needed to be done. My misdeeds were not only connected with the Bitter Hand, they were also entwined with another. There is a Breton woman who was a partner of sorts. She sold the items I... acquired. She will not be happy if I try to end our arrangement. She is not far. She is in Fell's Run. Her name is Brigabeth. I would go speak to her myself, but she would cut me down. I was only thinking, since you were helping me here, you might speak to her on my behalf. As the mud is my mother, I will return your generosity, stranger. I go from here to the chapel in Shornhelm to repent of my misdeeds. Find me there at the chapel, and I will ensure you receive a fruitful reward for your help. Thank you. I will see you again at the chapel in Shornhelm. Nothing is certain. I'm not selling anything, friend. You'll have to go inside and talk to Sabir. My part in this business is in acquiring the items we sell and managing relations with our partners. It's about time. I haven't heard anything from that slippery lizard in weeks. If she's not able to deliver a steady supply, we can't keep doing business together. Tell me you've got something more for me than an excuse. Ha! She's getting out of the bandit business? Impossible. What's she going to do? Move to Shornhelm and try to earn an honest living? That's... that's really courageous of her. To tell you the truth, I've often dreamed of doing the same thing. I thought if I tried something like that, then she and the other bitter hand bandits would track me down and kill me. I, I was afraid. I don't know. Where would I go? What would I do? Maybe I could start over with Tibaja. Yes. Tell her to keep an eye out for me. I'll have to think about this. But it's starting to sound like a good idea. Ah, it is good to see you, my generous friend. I came here to pray to Mara for forgiveness for my past, and it was like the clouds parted and the sun shined on my soul. I have decided to stay and devote my life to Mara. It is a better life. She did. That is funny, but I do not expect she will follow through. Regardless of her path, though, I am grateful she will not interfere with mine. And for that, I have you to thank. You have cleared away the weeds so that I may set down new roots and thrive. Someday. I hope I can do the same for another, and repeat the cycle. No. For many years, I dreamt of escaping the current that carried my life. But it demanded I swim upstream, and such a sacrifice I was not willing to make. Until now. I suspect Brigabeth will not make the sacrifice, and she will not change 